Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm East Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got our WNBA 6th of uh, October, Sunday. We got two games early, uh, football day, a lot going on. Change the beginning of the video, the recap and stuff. I'm trying to get the time down a little bit. And since I got to enter all my picks in that bet tracker, uh, you guys can just check it out and uh, to see the results. But uh, yeah, and it's free. The app is free. You can pay to use it to do other things, but just to follow bets and uh, see the lines and you can use it for certain things. But uh, first up, Chelsea Gray, assists over five and a half. Minus 128, FanDuel. Uh, head to head, cleared this quite a few times. I mean, it goes back to last year and the year before, actually. But uh, last five games, she's cleared this four out of five. A lot of the points lines are high for everybody. Uh, There's going to be some key adjustments as well, like there was last game. The Aces uh, started blitzing Sabrina. Going to give her no room. Was picking her up full court the whole game. And she uh, had a miserable game, four points. Still had like five assists and stuff. I expect there to be adjustments and have uh, – Someone else is going to bring the ball up, whether it be Stewie, uh, John Quayle Jones could even do it. Uh, bringing that other uh, guard, they're going to do something. Uh, I think Sabrina's going to be running off the ball a lot, like kind of like Curry does in the NBA. Uh, I think she's going to have like four threes, and because uh, she ain't going to be scoreless again, I'll tell you that. Not like she was, and. Um, I think Stewie is going to go over on assists and uh, John Paul Jones. I think they're going to have uh, four and three. And I think Sabrina's hitting four threes. But uh, easy pick right here, over five and a half assists. Let's get it. Uh, Minnesota and Connecticut. Uh, that was a that was a doozy last game, man. Let me tell you, I had some nice parlays, both games mixed together. Uh big long ones too, and fucking maybe getting fourteen points. One of them she needed fifteen and she killed it. But uh all the lines are high. Everyone's high. Everyone's gonna be trying to score. But uh Brianna Jones. Points and rebounds over 14 and a half, minus 118. If you've been watching, you know we played her for a while right before the season ended. And then she got hurt, and she's been doing horrible. But she's also been on minutes restrictions. You see her minutes are way down. Uh, last game, they brought her minutes back up. She started looking like an old self. And uh, let me break it down a little further. Like we were cashing it nonstop over here, you know. My uh, my co D's that are with me, they they know what I'm talking about. But uh, then she got hurt and just fell off, obviously. But she looked like her normal self, and it's one of the only lines that isn't that crazy. Uh, threw the rebounds on there. She got her rebounds out of I think three and a half, minus one fifty two. Points line at ten and a half. Put them together. 14 and a half, 10 and a half, 11, 12, 13, 14. Of course, sometimes she'll, I mean, she'll get five, six rebounds, sometimes more. Uh, but she got here, eight rebounds, nine rebounds, nine rebounds. So, yeah, it should be easy cash. Uh, there's going to be adjustments in this game. I think uh, Minnesota's just going to close it out. Uh, let's get into the next one. All right, so right back to it. Bridget Carlton points over nine and a half. Uh, minus 120, Fandle. It's been doing real good. 
She don't go much over, but this is what she does. Uh, grabs a couple of rebounds. I was going to do points and rebounds. Decided to just go back to the points. Nine and a half. I uh, really like it at eight and a half, but nine and a half is good. Uh, if you've been watching, you know we play her threes. She hasn't hit it the last two games, and they finally bumped it back up. It's back up to 140. Uh, if you're feeling frisky, I would take it. Uh, it's just not going to be a play I'm giving. Uh, I got a lot of bets out right now between football and stuff. The easier play would be the points. But mark my words, she's going to go over this. At plus 150. Uh, I'm telling you, I, will, I mean, you'll see if you follow the bet tracker. I probably will bet it. But uh play I, I did take already was her points, nine and a half. Uh, we've been playing at threes all year, so... And she don't miss it two days in a row. She don't miss it. She, she don't miss it one day in a row. Yeah, but I just didn't want to be that guy to catch it nonstop all year long. We cashed it. Nonstop. And it was at 140, 150 the whole time. And then we even caught the rhythm. I caught the rhythm over here. I missed it a couple times. I was off because she was hitting and missing it, as you see. But then I caught the rhythm, and I was betting it every other day. But uh, she's going to hit it tomorrow, guaranteed. Guaranteed. But uh, I stuck with her points, nine and a half. Let's get it. Bridget Carlton. Uh, I'm going to just jump right into the next one. Atlanta Smith rebounds over five and a half. Uh, she fouled out last game. She Bridget Carlin actually had a lot of rebounds. She normally gets like three or four. She ended up with like six or seven. Uh, she still played a decent amount of minutes, Smith, but she uh, she got in foul trouble. And once someone gets in foul trouble, they can't play as aggressively. Uh, so she didn't go over it, but. Uh, she only played 26 minutes. Uh, like I said, I expected to close it out. Uh, she's going to go over this number. She's out there. She's aggressive. She's a nice volleyball player. Uh, she's always getting beat up and thrown around. Uh, she hit a couple shots here and there. Uh, Some days she goes off with her threes. She don't really shoot that many, but, you know, her job is to be the scrapper. She gets the rebounds, sets the picks. Uh, there's a couple shots, you know what I mean? But she's after that loose ball in 50 50s. And uh, she's going to get it. So let's get it. All right. Uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm new to this YouTube stuff a couple months now. Not new to this sports betting. You know, I'm not just someone who gives out picks. I put my money on the line. So let's get it. Uh, Likes and comments, please. Let me know what you're doing. How you doing? How I'm doing? I'll change this up a little bit. Let me know what you think. Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's fucking go.